everyone. Let's see, I'm just gonna adjust my camera real quick. Make sure we can see well. I think that's the ticket. Hello, um, my name is Abigail Flowers and this is my husband. I'm Quentin Flowers. Um, and we are going to play some music for you for the next 30 to 40 minutes, depending on how much I talk. Um, before we get started, I wanted to say a couple things. One of those is that should we experience any kind of technical glitch um, or YouTube craziness, if this live stream gets shut down for any reason, um, you can just refresh the workshop's YouTube page and um, a new live stream will pop up in the videos section within a few minutes. It's only happened to us once, but you never know. So anyway, there's that. If you are signed in to your YouTube account right now, you'll be able to participate in the live chat function, which can be a lot of fun. Um, it's sort of the main perk of watching live is that you can respond in real time and um, I'll ask a few questions. So if you are not already signed in to your YouTube account, I would love for you to do that so that you can interact with us during the live stream. Um, just so you know, we are accepting tips because uh, everyone is experiencing loss of work right now and we are no exception. So um, if you would like to send tips, there are some uh, links in the description. Hi, mom. Um, links in the description of this video. For Venmo, we're at flower underscore power. For Cash App, it's the little dollar sign, Abigail Flowers Music. And uh, on PayPal, it's Abigail Flowers Music at gmail.com. Um, so I would love to know those of you who are signed in and participating in the live chat function, will you let us know where you're watching from? Um, one of the best things. <clears throat> Although it's been really difficult to not be able to do live shows and now all shows are taking place on the internet, which is a bummer in a lot of ways. One of the best things about that is that it allows people from all over the world to watch shows that they wouldn't normally have access to. So we would love to know where you're watching from. If you are watching this back later, hey, California, fabulous. Um, if you're watching this back later, you can leave us a comment to let us know. Um, we're going to go ahead and start with our first song. It is called I Wish You Love. Thank you. 
to uh, do this thing where usually there's applause there, but uh, you know, we're in the internet box and we can't quite hear you, but thank you so much for tuning in. I see that there are still people joining. Um, if you're just joining us, my name is Abigail Flowers. I have lived in Nashville for a little over 10 years now. Um, I grew up in Northern Virginia, but I moved to Nashville for college at Belmont. Um, and then after Belmont, I was given a job um, singing at the Grand Hotel on Mackinac Island, Michigan. Um, many, many thanks to Alex Graham for giving me that opportunity. And that's where I first um, fell in love with standards and kind of figured out, um, what would you call this subject? Oh, fabulous. Um, I will get to that in a second. So, um, Right, I started learning standards for this um, gig at the Grand, and it was a, an incredible learning opportunity. And while I was there, um, Alex Graham told me, you know, when you get back to Nashville, you have got to connect with the folks at the Nashville Jazz Workshop. Um, they're the crowd who are really going to understand what you're looking for. Um, so, so I did. I got connected at the workshop. I started volunteering there. Um, as a way to get into shows for free. I'll be upfront about that. But um, that gave me the comfort level to enroll in my first class. Um, and Lori was so generous to me. And um, so I, I've learned a lot through classes at the Jazz Workshop. And I now am also the volunteer coordinator. Um, of course, we are not doing any live events. So there's not a lot of volunteer coordinating to do right now. Um, but I love the Jazz Workshop dearly and I'm so grateful um, to have been able to learn with Lori and Liz and so many other great teachers. Um, will you tell us a few words about yourself while I find our next chart? Yeah, <laughs> uh, my name is Quentin Flowers. Again, if you weren't here earlier, I am a bass player. I don't do much else besides that. I get to uh, hang out with my beautiful wife Abigail a lot and, and we get to gig together. Um, in, the, in real life, we gig together a fair amount. Um, and now we get to do a lot of these YouTube live streams, which has been really awesome. Um, but about me specifically, um, I've been in Nashville coming up on nine years because uh, I also came up here for, for school at Belmont and uh, studied under Craig Nelson in the classical program at Belmont. And I'm really appreciative of all the connections there, everything I learned. Um, I get to play a lot of different type of music and uh, I'm involved in some scoring sessions. It's, it's been great. Been really fortunate, and and you get to work a lot with Jack Jezro, who is a yes, of dear course. friend of the workshop. Yeah, well. Jack has has been looking out for me a, a great deal, and uh, really uh, love Jack a whole lot. All right, this next song is called "Besame Mucho," which is a very famous bolero um, by a Mexican composer named Consuelo Velasquez, and. Um, it's interesting, usually names ending in O are male names and names ending in A we associate with female names, but this Consuelo Velasquez is a woman um, and she wrote Besame Mucho in 1940 and it gained popularity in the US because um, it was very relevant to the, the wartime feelings um, of, of missing your significant other. And uh, if you love this song, there's an incredible video on YouTube of Consuelo Velasquez herself playing and singing this song. Uh, and it's pretty cool to hear the original composer of such a famous old tune um, playing and singing their own work. So I would encourage you to check that out. But here's Besame Mucho.
si fuera esta noche la última vez Bésame, bésame mucho Que tengo miedo a perderte Que tengo miedo a perderte Que tengo miedo a perderte Um, okay, so someone asked a moment ago, what would I call this style of jazz? And that is a great question. Um, for the most part, I gravitate to, um, well, I mean, vocal jazz is one uh, label that certainly fits. Um, swing music to some extent, even though, of course, with just the two of us playing, um, it's not the same as like a swing band, but I gravitate toward um, medium to up-tempo swing. Um, my favorite artists to listen to are Ella Fitzgerald and Chet Baker. Um, and, and then of course, instrumentation plays a huge role in how music is perceived. So there's almost like um, elements of trad jazz or or a gypsy feel, um, like little injections of that, depending on the song. Um, so I, I wouldn't say that I am well versed enough to give you an incredible answer to that question, but um, yes, I hope that's helpful in giving some direction. Um, the next song, oh, okay, first of all, I want to say um, this is a baritone ukulele. Uh, you might not have heard standards played on a ukulele before, let alone a baritone ukulele. So I'll tell you a little bit about that. Um, uh, so, right, I've been playing ukulele for a long time. Um, and I used to, I mean, it, it fit very naturally when I was writing singer-songwriter music in college. And one day I had a friend who I look up to a lot who said, um, you know, ukulele is great, but if I'm being honest, I wouldn't want to listen to it for more than 30 minutes or so. So if you want to start doing longer sets, you might look at other instruments. And I honestly thought that was a, a good perspective. So I looked into baritone. Um, it's, it's basically a guitar that's missing the bottom two strings. So it's tuned the same. You can use the same chord shapes for the most part. Um, and it just has a deeper tone. Um, so I enjoy it because of that. Um, and believe it or not, I am not unique in being a ukulele playing jazz vocalist. Um, a few of my favorites are um, Laura Anglade is, is a Canadian jazz vocalist who plays ukulele. Diane Nalini is another one. Um, and I, I know both of them play concert ukulele, and, but probably some baritone as well. Um, and actually... Berkeley School of Music's first ukulele principal is a girl named, or a woman named Carissa Hoffman, and she's a Nashville native. Um, so she does some really wonderful um, solo ukulele uh, arrangements of jazz standards. She, she does take the A train, really, really cool stuff. So I would love for you to look them up. Um, this next song we're going to do is an original of mine. I don't have a lot of originals that fit um, or or uh, accurately reflect my current style of music. Um, but this is one of the first. Um, I guess I should pull up the chart, shouldn't I? Um, I wrote it a few months ago for, um, for a show at Plaza Mariachi. And if you have never been to Plaza Mariachi, that is the second place you should visit when quarantine is over. First place, obviously, the jazz workshop. But, um, but we love Plaza Mariachi and have partnered with them before. Uh, but I got to do a, a luau party there and I needed to fill some time. So I wrote some original music and this ended up not being luau-esque at all, but it, it's a song I like, so I hope you'll enjoy it. It's, uh, again, an original called Nobody But You. Womp. I am dreaming of someday you'll be my love one day. I don't want nobody but you. Nobody but you. You're fit. 
hoping to do that this summer but um, who knows when that will happen but I do have a version on YouTube um, with Katie Blomars on bass, Chris Lidecker on drums, and Emmanuel Etchum on trumpet. Um, I submitted that as this year's Tiny Desk concert um, contest entry um, so that's on my YouTube channel so I suppose this is a good time to um, plug my YouTube channel which is Abigail Flowers Music. If you go, not right now, but if you go to uh, youtube.com slash Abigail Flowers Music, I have a, a lot of videos there, including um, we do a weekly jazz brunch live stream on Saturday mornings. Um, it is definitely a mix of genres, but uh, we play some standards, some originals, a little bit of classic country. I did a Hawaiian tune one day. Um, so I would love for you to check that out, and um, I'll try to put links to, to those things in the description of this video later. Um, so one more little chat question. If you're tuned in right now and able to participate in the live chat, um, I would love to know about either shows you were excited about but have been canceled or postponed due to quarantine, uh, or the best live streams you've caught since uh, that is now the way to share music. I know everyone is um, sharing music in that way and it's pretty incredible to see really big names um, in such an intimate way. Um, so any fantastic live streams you've seen um, or any shows that you cannot wait to make it to once all of this is over, um, let us know in the chat or if you're watching this back later, you can let us know with a comment. Um, also, I see a few people have found this, but if you would take a second to give this video the thumbs up, um, you know, in the little uh, underneath the video, if you would just like the video, that helps out uh, the Jazz Workshop YouTube channel. Um, great. Moving on to the next song. Ooh, we're going to play a favorite of mine. This is one that I learned um, for my gig at the Grand Hotel, which I mentioned before, um, but one of the best things about that gig is that we are playing, it's a full band, um, I don't play, I just sing, um, oh yeah, um, that band is, we play for ballroom dancers, and it is, uh, such a unique and wonderful experience to play music for dancers, I've had the opportunity to do that with, um, I used to sing in a salsa band here in Nashville, led by Bill Allickson. Um, I've sung with the Music City Big Band, led by Casey Brefka. Um, and it's just, it's so special to play music for dancers. And so um, that's one of the things I love about singing at the Grand Hotel. So this is um, one of my favorite songs. It's a, it's a special song for a couple that um, are regulars at the Grand. So this is a Jobim tune, um, first recorded in 1959. Uh, called Jinji. i 
say once again if you weren't here with us in the beginning we are accepting tips there are links to that information um, in the chat and oh look at all those thumbs up thank you guys um, that's super helpful YouTube is a search engine and the more engagement a video gets the more watch time all of that stuff the higher it shows up in search results and uh, it benefits everyone so I really appreciate you taking the time to do that um, don't forget to subscribe to the Jazz Workshop YouTube if you want to keep um, getting notifications about videos like this or uh, probably even better videos. <laughs> um, let's see. Right, so tips. Uh, we're on Venmo at flower underscore power, PayPal, abigailflowersmusic at gmail.com, um, cash app is a little money sign, and then abigailflowersmusic. Um, and let's see make sure so yes subscribe to the nashville jazz youtube you could also subscribe to my youtube which is youtube.com slash abigail flowers music um but also uh probably the best way to connect with the jazz workshop is to just sign up for their newsletter um, go to nashvillejazz.org and put in your email address make sure that you're on the mailing list so that you can get direct notifications um, because I know social media can be weird sometimes with, you know, what rises to the top of the pile. But um, there's going to be lots of great information on the Jazz Workshop website. Um, They're offering online classes right now, which is incredible because it's an opportunity, like literally anywhere in the world, you can participate in amazing classes that the Jazz Workshop offers. And the scheduling... Um, has also been altered. So it's not like once a week for six weeks. There are a lot of different um, scheduling options. There are classes during the day, one-time master classes. So um, there's really something for every jazz musician or appreciator um, or student. So I would definitely encourage you to check out the Jazz Workshop website, get on the mailing list, check out the class options right now. Um, and another exciting announcement is that tomorrow we're participating in the big payback, um, which will give us the opportunity to receive matching funds for donations. Um, so for more information about that, uh, you can also visit the website. There's also tons of information um, around that on the Jazz Workshop Facebook, so whatever you're more comfortable with. Um, but we would love for you to check that out and potentially participate tomorrow by donating. Um, let's see, that's all I've got for right this moment. So the next song, this is not an original, but it sort of feels like an original. Um, this is a song called Flower in Bloom by Charlie Peacock. And you may have heard of Charlie. 
Um, he is an extremely accomplished producer uh, and I guess musical artist in his own right. I know um, he, he's sort of lived many musical lives, but I had the privilege of meeting him at a fundraiser, or um, yeah, it was a fundraiser for Rudy's several years ago to um, be able to buy the, the piano that, that lives at Rudy's. So um, I met Charlie there and he was so kind. So he um, is a jazz composer and, and he does some, you know, headier instrumental stuff as well. I know he's got an album with, uh, with Jeff Coffin um, and, and other great players in town, but um, this is a sort of a lighter song um, that is, uh, you know, stylistically pseudo jazz. Um, but it's really lovely, and he gave me the opportunity to arrange this song for vocal trio. So I have a trio um, with two phenomenal vocalists named Bethany Merritt and Holly Hamill. And um, we've got some videos on YouTube if you'd like to check that out. But uh, this song, Flower and Bloom, is one of two songs of Charlie's that I got to arrange for our vocal trio. Um, and then he released them. So they're up on Spotify. This is... Uh, sort of the only recording I have on Spotify that is really indicative of my um, current style. So anyway, Flower and Bloom by Charlie Peacock as performed by me. Love is the only suitable destination for all the crazy feelings in my imagination like a bell ringing blue. I think it's true. Ooh, my heart's like a flower in bloom. Up from a downfall born by you, baby, you're in luck. I'm not going anywhere but up. Well, where will you go with me? Will you take my hand to be? Tomorrow, put a smile on the face of every sorrow, no matter what they say. Now's the time to play, cause it's a beautiful day. Love is the only suitable destination for all the crazy feelings in my imagination, like a bell ringing blue. I think it's true. find that on Spotify under my name, Abigail Flowers. I would love for you to listen to it. Um, great. We have two more songs for you. This next one is an original. And um, I wrote it two years ago for, um, 
for my 2018 Tiny Desk Concert um, contest submission. And it is called Spring Never Felt So Wrong. And it's about um, experiencing a loss and um, watching the world continue on even though um, it feels wrong because because your world has um, stopped or you know experienced a significant loss and I um, I did not write this from a place of personal experience but it has become especially relevant to my current life um, this past week we lost um, probably the most influential teacher I ever had um, my high school drama teacher passed away um, and they were an incredible artist um, who shared a lot of um, skill and talent and uniqueness with the world. Um, and so I'm so grateful to have had that experience. Um, but I feel like this song is a little more personal now. So I hope you will enjoy it. Um, it's also Teacher Appreciation Week, so this is a reminder that you should um, get in touch with all your best teachers, all your most stressed teachers, all your friend teachers. Uh, make sure you show some love to the teachers in your life. Shout out to my mother-in-law, Helen Flowers, a wonderful teacher. Um, all right. This is the last song we're going to play. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, I really appreciate it. Time is our most valuable asset, and you've chosen to spend it with us, so I'm really grateful. Um, don't forget to subscribe 
like, comment, share it with a friend. If you know someone who is living alone, especially um, anyone who just needs a little pick me up, please share this with them um, and make sure that you're checking in with your friends who, especially those who live alone, um, but just be checking in with each other. It's a tough time. So um, great. This last song is one of my very favorite songs in the world. It's called Dream a Little Dream of Me. Before I got to do music full time, I used to work in um, ice cream shops for several years and I was very good at it. I did not enjoy it. It was a great company, but I knew that I should be doing something else. So I would work, uh, you know, an eight hour shift scooping ice cream. Um, and then my respite at the end of the day was putting on uh, Ella and Lewis duet uh, recordings while we mopped up and, and uh, cleaned up the shop. So I fell in love with this song in those moments at the end of the day. Um, cleaning sugar off the floor. Um, so this is, uh, so it was, it was written in 1931 by Fabian Andre and Wilbur Schwant, uh, with lyrics by Gus Kahn. Um, like I said, my favorite version is Ella. Um, popularly rec or famously recorded by the Mamas and the Papas in 1968. And, uh, and I will just make one very nerdy note. Uh, so in the, like, standard version um we might we start in my case in the key of d flat and the bridge section modulates to the flat six uh key center in the mamas and the papas version we start in one key center i think it's actually in c and modulate to the natural six so uh in the version we're about to play it's a we're we're modulating by a, a major third or a minor six uh, and in the Mamas and the Papas version, they modulate down a minor third or up a major sixth. Uh, so I just think it's interesting that there's two, I mean, it's a small difference, I guess, but it's kind of significant too um, for very famous recordings of the same song. So uh, fun fact, I hope I haven't run you off. Uh, thank you again for joining us and uh, hope to see you again on the internet. <laughs> Shining bright above you Night breezes seem to whisper I love you Birds singing in the sycamore tree Dream a little dream of me Say nighty night and kiss me Just hold me tight and tell
I'd leave all worries behind you. But in your dreams, whatever they be, dream a little dream of me. But in your dreams, whatever they be, dream a little dream of me. Thank you guys so much for watching and uh, for giving us a reason to change out of sweatpants for the first time in two months. We really appreciate it. Y'all have a great night.